What a great time to be an amateur radio operator. We're headed towards a solar maximum, and we have manufacturers out there that are introducing new gear at a fairly rapid pace. Hey, I'm Bob, KD4 BMG HOA Ham, and today we're going to talk about the CHA SA1 SWA Analyzer from Chameleon Antenna. I've been testing this for Chameleon for the last several weeks, and it just went for sale on their website today. It covers 1.6 through 160 megahertz, or 160 meters through 2 meters. It'll come with this pouch so you can keep the unit protected while you put it in your go bag or whatever you store your gear in. It comes with an adapter so you can go from BNC over to your SO239. The unit itself just simply has an on-off switch on top. Let's go ahead and turn it on. and. The instructions on this are so simple, so simple that they're printed right here. Here is the instruction manual. Rotate to select frequency, tap to select the digit, hold to toggle light. Well, we'll toggle the light right now because it's gonna wash out the screen. You can see it really good when you're looking at it, but that camera up there can't capture that light. Just hold and the light will go off again. Let me zoom in and show you how to operate it here. Okay, let's see if we can figure out these complicated instructions. Rotate to select frequency. Well, look at that. You rotate and it selects the frequency. Tap to select digit. You can see there's a cursor that moves anytime I tap the dial and it will just keep moving until I stop tapping the dial. And then I turn the dial to change the frequency. And it's as simple as that. We'll do a basic comparison of this analyzer to some others that I own. We'll compare price and features, and then you can decide if this fits into your particular use case. I'll talk about how I've been using this in the shack to tune my F-Loop 2.0, which is 30 feet above me in the attic space, using that remote loop tuner so I can operate my FX4CR. And then we're going to take it outside and, hey, why don't we hook it up to a coil antenna. How about the CHA PRV portable resonant vertical? Of course, you can use this on any antenna. It doesn't need to be a chameleon antenna. Go ahead and use this analyzer with your Wolf River coil, your G Gable radio, a coil antenna, your super antenna. And I know there are more antennas out there that you would want to use this with. Other than those I've named, you can use it on a wire antenna, any antenna that you're trying to get a quick read on your SWR. And that's where this excels. It's just honing in on the simple reading of your SWR. So what we're about to experience is just a really overly simplistic view of cost and features on these items, and I'm admitting that it's an oversimplified view. For the experienced amateur radio operator, you already know what's going on here, you know what a tiny SA Ultra does, and you're watching this video because it's a new piece of gear. You haven't seen it before, we all like new gear. If you're a new amateur radio operator, you may just be vaguely familiar with this equipment. So, overly simplistic view. The Tiny SA Ultra can measure SWR. It can do way more than that. There are a lot of other items that it measures, parameters and features. It's a valuable piece of equipment. It runs about $240 retail today. Most people view this as a shack device, not a field device. Some people use it in the field to measure SWR. Primarily, most hams view it as a shack device and therefore we're just gonna put it off to the side for now. The Chameleon unit comes in at $199 or $200 on the Chameleon website today. The MFJ unit comes in on their website at $399 or $400. The Rig Expert Stick uh, Pro I just saw on DX Engineering, I think for $450. So twice as expensive as the Chameleon Antenna SA1. Now, there's a lot more features that you can measure with these devices, either in your shack or in the field. And so I don't wanna cast that aside as irrelevant. It is relevant if that information is important to you. And that's really what I wanna talk about at this point in time. The SA-1 from Chameleon is focused on one thing. It is operation in the field or in the shack rapidly upon measuring your SWR. That's what it focuses on solely, quickly, getting online, measuring SWR, and operating. 
And admittedly, when I have operated Backyard Portable and I have set up my coil antenna, I have used these two devices for one thing and one thing only. Even though they're capable of so much more, I've measured SWR, I've gotten SWR to an acceptable level, and I've operated. When I've operated POTA and I wanted to set up a coil antenna or I was out in the field cutting a wire antenna to length, guess what I did? I did one thing with these two devices. I measured SWR and adjusted my coil and cut my wire to length according to those SWR readings. Again, they could do so much more than that, and that's why they cost double of the Chameleon unit. The Chameleon unit does one thing. You turn it on, you get an immediate SWR reading, you click the dial, you dial into your uh, frequency that you want to operate it on, you connect your cable, and you check your SWR, you make the adjustment on your wire, on your coil, on your mag loop, you go operate. This is Half the cost of these units, because it focuses on one thing, it focuses on it well, checking your SWR and letting you see how that SWR measurement changes as you make adjustments to your antennas. Let me explain what's happening here and how I tune my mag loop using this analyzer in the shack. So the FX4CR and the analyzer is connected to my mag loop. My mag loop is 30 feet away from me in the attic space. And when I say that they're both connected, all I simply mean is that they're going into this switch right now. The switch is connected to the analyzer and listen, you heard the radio come to life. Now the radio is connected to the mag loop. Now back to the analyzer. Let me go back to this angle. I'm at 12.3. I'm on the analyzer. Now I'm going to go to the radio. All right, you saw the radio come to life and my SWR here goes to 19.9. It's because it's not connected to anything. Now I'm going to go back to the analyzer. So all I need to do at this point is use my remote control to turn the motor on uh, the capacitor shaft on my mag loop. And that's how I tune. See how quickly that came down to 1.2 to 1? That's ridiculous. So just to show you that again, we'll, we'll get far away from it there. We're at 10.8 to 1. Hit the tune button. Hit the tune button again. Now the jog is a shorter step. And I'm at 1, 2, 3 to 1. That's how I tune my mag loop in the shack with an analyzer. I just use my antenna switch back there and that lets me quickly go back and forth between my gear and get to perfect SWR so I can operate with my FX4CR. How about we go outside and play with some antennas backyard portable? Tuning the coil antenna is very similar across all the manufacturers. Of course, we're going to illustrate with the CHA PRV portable resonant vertical. I get my ground stake in the ground, attach the coil to it, attach my whip to it, and then get all of my radials set up. I already dial in the SWR because I want to illustrate some things for those of you who aren't familiar with these types of systems. You'll watch us step up adjust the coil and move away. Why do we do that? Well, let me show you why. Those of you who have picked one of these radios up as a child, it doesn't matter the type of radio that you picked up, and you touch the antenna or you get your hand near the antenna, what happens? The signal comes in and out. And that's why you watch people when they're tuning a coil antenna, they'll make an adjustment, they'll step back away from the antenna system because your body being near the antenna interferes with it. You can see from my illustration here that my SWR is 1.29 to 1, and as I get near it and start to touch it, the SWR just goes all over the place. When I'm tuning my coil, my meter's in my hand, I can see it, you can't. So I'm just showing you now, as I move the coil, there are readings on the meter that are changing. That's how I know what to do. Okay, those were illustrations for those of you who've never tuned or seen anyone tune a coil antenna. You need to realize your body will interfere with the antenna system and you need to back away as you make coil adjustments to make sure you're getting accurate readings. And I needed you to understand that I'm actually seeing a reading on my SWR meter. That's why I put it on the table so you could watch it change. Now let's actually go through the process of tuning the antenna using the analyzer. So here I am, I dial in the frequency. This is what I want to operate on. It's what I'm going to tune my radio to. So that's what I want the analyzer reading. I make a minor adjustment on my coil. 
I stepped back away from the antenna system, take a look at my SWR, didn't get it quite where I wanted it, go back for another adjustment, and you do this as many times as you need to until you finally have exactly what you need for your reading. And that's how you tune a coil antenna system, and that's how you use this new analyzer from Chameleon Antenna. Hope you found this useful, friend. Talk to you soon. 73.